Okay, hello everyone. Jesus, that's loud. Okay, that way now the music shouldn't be so loud and uh, people should be able to hear every people in the chat. Um, how mixed is it? Can you hear me? Can you hear the game? Kieran, my boy, speak up. Uh, I'm speaking up. Hello, uh, I'm here. Uh, I cannot hear the game, so I, I can't help you. <laughs> okay. Sort of options we yeah. got. I saw this appetite I was, uh, around the same time that uh, Johnny was streaming the uh, sage stuff, and then I just saw that it was a Christmas sage, basically an excuse to do it again. Um, and this is one that caught my eye. I was like, oh my god, so I'm drift kind of looks decent. Well, it's it's the same gentleman, Noah. I believe it's his first name. It's the same guy who did the. Um, Triple Trouble. Triple Trouble 16-bit remake, yeah. Yeah, that's also something I need to try. I have... Uh, <laughs> that would be Meg. Hello. <laughs> um, in uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's something I have downloaded. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you might hear Meg in the back. Um, I'll try and uh, mute the coughing as well. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're coming through pretty quiet. Can you turn off your, your mic a bit? Absolutely. Uh, you just say when, if. Oh, that's good. Uh, cool. If I'm too loud, I will adjust Sorry. that because I've. Uh, yeah. Cool. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, you did pretty good for a charity stream there. That you didn't do. First, it. first, <laughs> literally first time we've we've ever met Go before I had to do anything, and so if every future charity stream could be that Goes successful, like that. <laughs> I'll be a happy man. I'll just be like, yeah, we're gonna. Every few months, I just be like, hey, we want to meet this amount, and if we don't reach it, then you'll have to watch me stream. And nobody watches. <laughs> yeah, that. that's just a, it's a punishment for everybody. <laughs> um, I have not played Whoa. this game in so long. Oh, Summer Dog, thank you so much. <laughs> we was. Exactly, we were th you were threatened with a stream, so you paid not to have it. And luckily, that luckily, my, my laptop, uh, you know, knew, knew that was coming, knew no one wanted to watch a stream, so we just shit the bed. Yeah, it exploded, which is ironic, because considering I just saw Bomb uh, yep. on the screen. <laughs> I'm glad Heavy's not a, a racer in here. You, 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 you would be lapped like seven times by the first one. <laughs> You know, this is so, like, this, this could have been a game, like, this could have been a Mega Drive release. I was gonna say, like, it has all of the, like, visuals and everything down, like, to a T for, like, in the same style of F-Zero and stuff like that. Um, I just saw what Meg put in the chat. Yeah, no, I, I put that, thing. and I wanna, I wanna find the, the most polite way to say, if you do that, I will request all the money be returned. Please, I don't, I don't want, I don't want any no. Sonic Fury. Thank you so much for the suggestion, but I'm good, thanks. Well, well now, we'll, 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 dis we'll discover all the suspiciously wealthy furries. Um, they keep the economy going. Suck the cock. Real. Oh, okay, there you go. Draw me a picture uh, of, draw me a picture of Suck the Cock, the greatest fan character to ever have existed. Uh, I don't know where it is. <laughs> I don't know where it is or who did it, but um, I saw a piece of fan art that somebody did. It was, it was suck the cock, but it was um, in the style. I don't those official renders that they put out or not renders. Um, yeah, official art. Yeah, that's that yeah. That, that, yeah, that's someone someone drew it, and it look it looks it looks so good that like you could just think it was maybe it was a it was a Japanese mistranslation. But yeah, that look that looks so official. <laughs> it, it was scary how official it looked. 
Man, I am no, doing bad at this. It's almost like you're in a car and Sonic runs. I know. And that's why Sonic Drift sucks. Sonic Drift sucks. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank God he has uh, progressive car insurance. <laughs> God, that commercial was like... Like a decade ago. That commercial was... What the fuck? Why did why is why are you here, Sonic? You run everywhere. <laughs> uh. Balloon Panic, what a name. Well that's based off the, the what that's based off of one of the um Oh I, I thought that said balloon picnic. It wouldn't be a very good thing to eat. <laughs> Uh, you don't need to do that anymore, but the... Oh, Frank, you meant Frank, yeah. Met. Thank you, yeah, I think the, um, the link... I do appreciate that. Yeah, one. thank you, but the link can't, um, be donated to. But you know what, Kim, just what I try and avoid becoming last again, if you want to just, just... Ooh, oh, I don't know, we could get power-ups. Sweet. Oh, no, ah, oh, it's a Sonic 3 special stage here. No, thank you. Um... Oh, no. If you want to, if you want to maybe explain what, what the, what the thing was for... Because I am, yes, I am stuck. I'm gonna be sick. Fuck this game. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes. So what the charity stream or, or was meant to be for, I guess. Um, it was for my fiance Meg. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Hi. Sorry, I'm listening through my headphones. I'm here, so it's a but bit you can later. hear me. We're in the same room. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, anyway yes. Um, we make suffers with uh, a few physical conditions uh, such as uh, fibromyalgia, POTS, uh, and uh, hypermobility, among other things. These sorts of things, they are they are really POTS, POTS means I grow little flowers um, no. in my cells. That's not how that works. Anyway, it means I'm she's constantly high, time. which is the best disease yeah, to constant. ever have. <laughs> yeah, um, no, it, it means you're. Oh. Constantly high. No, that's just my autism. Wow. Gosh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. So, what, what, um, like fibro and all these th different things? They Im imagine just your joints, uh, your muscles, your bones. Everything is just constantly in pain. Even if you're sat down relaxing, Meg will not be. Uh, which is it sucks. And all these different things that Meg has, for example, they kind of intertwine. So. The hyper I, can, I can tell it. Yeah, if, if, you, if you want to, go oh, ahead. Okay, yeah, so basically, overall, uh, my fibro is just like pain all the time, but you can also get migraines, sudden blood sugar drops, um, you know, it affects like every part of your life. Your, your eyes can go dizzy for no reason, um, you get brain fog, you get memory loss, um, but then with my EDS, uh, my joints are hypermobile, so they just look really easy. Um, it also affects like uh, your digestive system, so like IBS, acid reflux, shit like that. It's just, it's just all bollocks. But I laugh about it, so it's okay. I mean, today I collected my first ever chest infection. Hooray. Let's go, boys! Let's go! <laughs> uh, but yeah, these uh, physical disabilities and stuff, they. It's really not good for you, and we've constantly been trying to find a way to help you get around. And you were recently scammed on Facebook Marketplace, which, uh, yeah, never ever go there. <laughs> That's what we found out with that. But um, thankfully, uh, we did get the money back get from that. Get off the Steam Deck! Get off the Steam Deck! My cat is on my Steam Deck. Um, but yes, these things <laughs> are what Meg has to live through every single day. Um, and it's just we have been after a an electric uh, wheelchair uh, something that was foldable because our flat isn't the best either um and because of that we needed something to allow meg to have some independence again uh, which meg kind of hasn't had for a long time like if she needs to do something 
I'm usually the one who does it, but the thing is, I'm because of her disabilities, I'm the only one who can work. Um, and obviously, when I'm at work, Meg need and Meg needs to do something. I'm not there, so uh, the electric wheelchair is perfect for her because if a regular wheelchair, she would like if she had the wheels at the side that she could use to uh, roll herself. After like five rotations her arms would immediately start killing and she wouldn't be able to do it so that what is why electric was the best way to go because it's the only feasible thing for her uh, to get around with um, and that was what the uh, stream was going to be for and you guys are amazing yeah you're, you're making him drink but because of all of your gen That's fucking water. <laughs> anyway uh, your generosity uh, the chair has been uh, raised well the money for the chair has been raised um, so the way the throne account works just to give an update for that like Gareth was saying so the way the throne thing works it puts the uh, donation I'm going to enter into robot uh, the, um, the money goes into the, uh, the throne account and then after it will be withdrawn on Friday uh, which is why there's been no updates about ordering a chair or anything if anybody was worried about that um, and then once I take the um, withdraw it I'm immediately going to place the order for the chair and I will provide the update there and then Meg will have the chair uh, and Back again thank you so much to everybody who donated friends, uh, family everybody, you are fantastic and I we we're still pinching ourselves at the how wonderful the generosity of others just sharing it i think at one point i looked at the initial tweet <laughs> the initial uh, the, uh, yeah i looked at the initial tweet that you put out gareth and it reached like eight thousand people viewed it which wow. is insane uh so and, and if every one of those people could have given one dollar we could have bought dollar. like 10 chairs just <laughs> 10 saying. chairs yeah yeah but um, <laughs> thankfully, we only needed the one, um, and that was met pretty much instantly. Um, much to like the generosity of friends, family, and just, yeah, because uh, what we we, we set here. it up and linked it. It was what like nine p.m. ish Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday, and by yeah. what like five p.m. Friday, it was funded. So yeah, yeah, like or like seventy-two percent like the day, and yeah. A different chair for every day of the week. <laughs> but yeah, I did make a list of everybody who uh, donated, anybody who did make comments, uh, which, well, wasn't everybody, but that's absolutely fine. Again, I'm just so thankful. I do have some of the names, but a lot of them were anonymous. I can start reading some of those out if you want to, Gareth. Yeah, let's do that, bud. Cool. Uh, so the first uh, donation... Uh, <laughs> I can't remember who who it was. It was definitely somebody in the chat right now. I think but it was. A it was. It was. It was. It was our main girl, Luna Shark. Uh, Shark Girl Mew did the first. Yeah, very, very graciously did the very first donation just so we could check everything. Yeah, was working right. for the stream that didn't need that, to. Do, yeah, that didn't need to. In, <laughs> so in retrospect, <laughs> wasn't needed to be honest. But yeah. Yeah. But, but thanks. <laughs> uh, then it was uh, twenty-five dollars, and then. A hundred dollars. That uh, with, oh, I do know because I put it on my. Sorry, but I know that twenty-five was from my friend Angel, um, who did not who leave a comment. Is an angel, thank you. Yeah, she she literally is an angel. And then um, the the next one you were about to read out is from my buddy Ian. Yeah, he uh, left the comment because I think you remember. I re remember you saying mm -hmm. he worked in radio, and this comment is uh, clear for that from the new uh, 93x uh, 92.9 FM radio station. Uh, yep, that is a radio station he just got ownership of in Columbus, Ohio. Oh, awesome! So that's pretty cool. Yeah, awesome. Good, good for him. That's awesome. Uh, then uh, the fourth uh, donation after that was 25 pounds uh, from Rosie. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a Rosie that I'm friends with, uh, but either way, thank you. Uh, then James C with a, a big one. I think this is the one that uh, really uh, got us shocked. Like, oh, we're almost there. Uh, 200 pounds from mm. James C saying, hope you reach your goal. Well, boy, thanks to him. We. Yeah, thanks to him, we did. <laughs> 
Because that, because uh, because I mean that that donation was like pretty much twenty percent of everything we needed. Yeah. So yeah, which was insane. And thank you so much to James for that. Uh, and then we had an anonymous uh, thirty-five pounds with no comment. Uh, thank you. And then uh, we had fifteen dollars from Jonathan Couples with no comment. Oh, uh, that's, that's these are gonna my buddy Jono. My buddy Jonathan. Oh, Jono. Oh, yeah. I, I know you. No, 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 no. no. That's Jono. not. That's not. That's not Sonic says Jonathan. That's just another person I know called There's Jonathan. So many Johns on and the I just. I and I just call everyone Jono. Who's Jonathan for that? But yeah. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. But thank you. Uh, then. Uncle Iblis with five dollars. I love that. Um, then an anonymous five pounds. No comment. I sound like I'm in a police interview. Uh, then there's uh, anonymous ten pounds. Uh, an anonymous uh, twenty-five euros. <laughs> Thank you. Um, twenty-five dollars anonymous. Uh, and then another anonymous fifty bucks. Uh, five pounds anonymous as well. Uh, $15 and then a 25 pounds and then uh, we had 10 pounds from my mum and dad uh, with the comment saying what a beautiful and generous event this is going to be uh, sorry mum and dad it didn't happen um, <laughs> but before anything else uh, they're like I want those 10 pounds back nothing happened <laughs> yeah <laughs> I hope not um, uh, to set this all up we have the kindest heart and I am so proud of me for the man I've become cheers i didn't really do much that's all gareth and uh, now a fantastic way uh, to fundraise for someone that you love and a massive thank you to gareth for doing such a generous and wonderful thing uh, i didn't do anything so you're you. welcome <laughs> yeah they're also true <laughs> um thanks to you and all others who donated uh so that's that was my mum and dad uh then harry donated 10 pounds and then spider knife the boy uh donated 10 pounds um great guy that yep love uh, that boy Insanely talented with all those animations that yep. he's done for And you know, you Meg, I'm gonna, I'm, you know what, based on your comment, I'm gonna start driving worse, because fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> then Dejimon11 uh, with 50 bucks saying, I, hey, I pitched in, so you're at 83% funded. Hey. Uh, if I do more if I could, it's okay, you don't need to. Yeah, thank you um, so much. Cheers, my, my friend, I uh, do appreciate that. What? Uh, then uh, Somber Doc, twenty-five pounds. Thank you. And then uh, twenty dollars and fifteen cents for some guy named Garrett Spriggs. I don't know who that is. Read the uh, whole name. <laughs> yeah, Garrett, go fuck Randall the. Fairy no, go King, see. Yeah, for, for some reason, for some reason, Throne <laughs> edited my comment, my my name. It's supposed to be go sexy Randall the Pharaoh Wizard. Which is a reference, yeah, which is a reference to the old Clerks cartoon. <laughs> if anyone ever watched that. Yeah, I was confused about that. I was like, I don't know what this is. Uh, um, with with the comment, uh, never ask me for anything again. Uh, <laughs> but and then I put a note here saying. But, but Mr. Garrett, you offered to help us. Um, but still, no, I, then, I, I, I just said it because I love that fucking Sakurai meme. I, I, oh I, I, God, I think, I think it was so after good. like, like Banjo Kazooie got in the game. We just like never asked me for anything ever again. I know oh, <laughs> that poor man and everything he's gone through for the Smash stuff. And then the final uh, donation was from our. Uh, me and Meg's dear friend uh, Ludwig, uh, who I don't know what this fucking currency is. It's Sek S E K, uh, which was one thousand twenty nine. Yeah, I, I saw that. And at first, I thought he donated like a thousand pounds or dollars, and I was like, no, that, that can't make any sense because the thing was yeah. only for nine hundred. No, it's Swedish krona uh, because he's Swedish, <laughs> oh, and that obviously uh, translates to whatever it needed to be. And he he left a comment. I hooked y'all up with the last money needed. Go get her that electric wheelchair. It's the least I can do for my friend, as I have seen what she goes through, and I hate hearing about her being hate hearing about her uh, being in so much pain and having so much struggles just getting around. So it will be money well spent to see that happiness on Meg's face. So and basically, Meg, if you if you would have complained more sooner, he would have bought you the chair. Let yeah, there be a much. lesson: you always complain. Oh man, I should have. What a shame. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, to everybody, 
I, I, the amount of times I have to say I'm, we keep pinching ourselves that this is real? What? Uh, it's just... Uh, it's going Im to impact Meg's life in such a positive way. And I'm, I know Meg will uh, agree with me that we cannot be more thankful and grateful to all of you uh, and to you, Gareth, for just putting the word out because you didn't I've need to stream. I've got a fat cat behind me. Yes, you do. Yeah, no. Not big the cat, but it's, uh, no lo-fi beats here. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I know, I was listening to that <laughs> earlier and I, I nearly fell asleep. I was like, fuck. <laughs> but yeah, you guys are all amazing. And I, once again to you, Gareth, thank you so, so Absolutely much. my pleasure. Like when I... When you when you put that story in the uh, in the Discord, that was just you know shit like that just aggravated the, the fuck out of me. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just putting it into the Discord just to vent at the time because uh, that week was also just hell for me in general because everything just kind of went wrong. You're not gonna be a cyborg. You're just gonna ride around on a wheelchair. <laughs> Although you saying that, that's, that's a Chris. In like, in like one of the first episodes of Family Guy where Joe first appears and he's in, in the wheelchair, he gets out for a second. And no, he sees, Stewie sees him playing baseball and just screams out, Go, Cyborg! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh. <laughs> I, I know exactly what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to make all, like i'm gonna get a list of all the jokes made against joe and i'm just gonna set, like, but the great the great thing about that head. though is obviously because of course you know your name is meg you can get a bunch of joe jokes and just a bunch of shut up meg jokes shut up, meg. it's gonna be the best yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god i love that <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, can you if you can if you can get bumper stickers for wheelchairs, please get holy crap she's a crapple. <laughs> Put it on the back oh of the Oh my chair. god, yes. That is something we need to do. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Oh, <laughs> uh, I that is a requirement now. I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up <laughs> after the stream. because uh, that sounds fantastic. Or and I, I I think we should find like flames just to stick on the side so that way you'll go fast. Hentai bitches on there. No. Hentai bitches. Then you'll be <laughs> cringe. Uh, but yeah, no. The sentiment will just go on forever. But thank you very much. Um, I know when um, like Meg came back uh, from her mum's at, at like after the. Sh well, the day of the stream that it was meant to happen, and at the same time that it was also funded, and it was just going to be, oh, we're just going to celebrate, woohoo. Hmm. Um, which is uh, relevant considering all the balloons in the stage. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, we would, I just record, was like, I hope Meg doesn't see it, because I had people, like a, a family WhatsApp group, saying, congrats, you did it, well done. It's like, I we didn't do anything. Um, <laughs> but, um,. Yeah, then I just was like, hey, Meg, sit down in my, oh, my chair. Oh, I just found a sticker. It says, I got a lobotomy at Claire's. Okay. Oh, my that God. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you ever want a piercing, never go to Claire's. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, so we were just saying that... Um, I, I Hot hope... Wheels. Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Oh, have you found <laughs> a sticker that's just Hot Wheels? And the O is a wheelchair. Oh, my God, you need to get that. I'm glad this is a, a, a mine to dive down into. Just, just pimp uh, out the chair with as many funny bumper stickers as you can. Yes, we will. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sure there's like a third party, like a third party, a, a store with just bumper stickers for wheelchairs. <laughs> <laughs> or Etsy, you can find it's anything got... on Etsy. Yeah, not wrong. We need to, oh, nitro boosters for a wheelchair. Gotta go fast. But not too fast. But not too fast, that's dangerous. That'd be dangerous. Not too fast. Just looked up after seeing it. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know if you saw, you, you've seen that, um, Gareth, but the Sonic X Shadow Generations on Steam has got those tags. Yep. It's got the LGBTQ <laughs> plus the tag. Like, why? Because there better be, there better be uh, the fucking no, cutscene the where they all make out. 
with Sonic, Classic Sonic, and Shadow just have a three-way. I mean, I you know, I've watched that. Well, I saw someone retweet saying, um, man, you guys are not ready for Shadow's story. It's like, oh, it's going <laughs> to go that badly, is it? But I think maybe someone did it as a joke because it's Sonic X Shadow, and that's usually a, a shipping thing. Yeah, I, I've seen some people joke that Sega just called it that to make Sonic X Shadow safe to search again. Because now, now if, cause obviously if you're yes. two weeks ago, you get a bunch of stuff that some people may not be wanting to look at. But now, if you search that, it's just stuff with the game. Yeah. Hey, Jason. Hey, Jason, what's up, bud? The only thing about this, so like, there's only seven characters, and it feels weird. But I'm, I'm honestly thinking in terms of, in terms of like the franchise at this point, who would, who else would you put in? Uh, so they've got uh, Metal, uh, they've got Sonic, they've got Amy, Eggman. Um, if you took looking at, well, I suppose you would do like the Chaotix, obviously. Um, okay, because I think at at the time this game was made, I'm not. I don't. I don't think Chaotix was because uh, Chaotix didn't come out until. Oh, right. Yeah. I'm trying to like. I guess te you, technically Ray and like you could technically do Ray and Mighty, I guess, but like mm. they were buried long. Well, thing is, Fangs here. Um, and but, I, yeah, I call him Fang, not Knack. Well, I guess like he, I guess now he technically is Fang, but he'll, he'll always be knack in my heart. For me, he will, because uh, the first exposure I had to him, I believe it was Fang the Sniper in uh, Fighters. Mm. Uh, well, that's a point. If uh, Fang's here, then maybe add Madonna. Um, maybe we could have added a uh, Bark. Um, well, cause I think at this point he's he's in this game because obviously it started on the Game Gear and this came after Triple Trouble. Triple Triple Trouble, yeah. So I'm not. I'd have to go back. Um, I'm not sure if Fighters. I don't think Fighters had been released by the time this came out. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to do some uh, digging on my own. But given like how fluid this, uh, well. You can't even really call it a mod, can you? No, it's, uh, it's a it's a from the ground up, you know, we made game, which is insane that uh, fans are able to do this sort of thing. Yeah. First uh, he did triple trouble, then this, and he, he needs to redo blast next. Yeah. Oh my god. Make it not shit. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be what he's doing. Oh, could you imagine a good Sonic Labyrinth? <laughs> Is that possible? <laughs> Sega, Sega should hire him and just use these two games and have him remake. Obviously, you can you can ignore Mean Bean Machine and Spinball because they already have Mega oh, Drive yeah, versions, yeah. but just have him yeah, no, no, no. just have him like remake all the other ones in like 16 bit. Thank the bitchless. <laughs> no bitches. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's a nincompoop. No He's a Jabroa, whatever the fuck that thing is. <laughs> I do like how, like, the, um, tr essentially the triple mushroom is, uh, the speed shoes. I do like Golden that. speed shoes, yeah. Because <laughs> that's one thing, whenever I've seen, uh, stuff related to, well, I haven't actually really played much of the Sonic racing games other than an attempt at Sonic Drift original. Uh, as a kid. You ain't also... missing much. You really ain't missing much. No, with no. That. <laughs> I, when I played it as a kid, I was just like, man, this sucks. I'm going to play something good. Um, That's why Sonic Drift sucks. Drift sucks. Um, and it's still relevant to this day. Um, but then I played, uh, obviously, Sonic R, which... Uh, uh, that was a sneeze. Um, which, obviously, I know is a hit and miss for a lot of people, but I don't know. I've, I have a real high nostalgia for Sonic R. Um, uh, and pure, purely for the fact that it's the one that made the most sense to me, uh, because Sonic is actually on his feet. But every other Sonic racing game, I just never touched. And then every time I looked at the games, the items that they had was just like, huh, what the hell are these? They made no sense in terms that of... 
That was apparently, at least in the sumo digital in like All Stars Racing and All Stars Racing Transformed, apparently it was Sega directly who were weird about having them use like items from the games in their racing Sega, game. So for whatever Sega reason, bad blame, decisions. I know, what? Right? what are the odds? Uh, but yeah, no, that was always confusing to me. So one of the many reasons why I was wrong with it, but. I do, uh, yeah, um, speaking of, um, Sonic R, maybe, turn it down a little bit, one second, I will be forever jealous of you, Gareth, uh, for what? hearing, um, Can You Feel the Sunshine Live, I remember that story that you told, like, oh, like, yeah, like, um, TJ yeah. Davis was, yeah, at, um, Summer so of Sonic 08, I think, and yeah, it was uh, some good shit. My elbow came out. Because you were partying with Sonic Arm. Did you just yeah, say your elbow that. came out? Yes. Okay. That is what happened. Okay. Because she was dancing, like throwing her arms up in the air, listening to the Sonic R soundtrack. <laughs> and that is why your helpful donations are going to help hang out. Uh... <laughs> okay. Like a party harder without dislocating my joints. Pretty much. Hence, uh, why it's just good to have you be zooming around. Oh, we should just get a speaker to put in the chair so we can just blast like Sonic, uh, like live and learn and open your heart. Can you feel the sunshine? Ice cream hands. Sonic. Good old ice cream. Oh, yeah, yeah, this good old ice cream hands, Sonic. Ready, set, cream's on the screen. Um, we I rewatched that recently, oh, um, and the, God, it's so so wonderful. <laughs> Isn't it tank controlling? It is, and for some reason, I thought I'd set up the Saturn to play uh, analog. Actually, oh, maybe I did. Tell her. What's the uh, I believe it should be either control. Sh uh, yeah, yeah, just if you keep going through and cycle, you'll end up with the analog. <laughs> Who's the blue guy? <laughs> oh, wait, now I remember. Now I remember. I have to press the button. There we go. Okay, yep. I'm going to restart. Now I remember what happens. Yeah, there it is. I have to, yeah, for, um, uh, if anyone doesn't know, I'm using, uh, what's the name of this simulator again? Mednafen. Mednafen. I believe that that's. I believe that's how it. Uh, Mednafen. Yeah. And so it. for PlayStation and Saturn to connect it to my Switch Pro controller, I have to press a certain button to enable analog control. <laughs> that's fair. Oh god, well, this that wasn't on it. game still controls like shit. Yeah, I, I don't know how I got so much enjoyment. I think it was the music that was distracting me. Because, god damn, why did the music have to go so wonderful? It's all, <laughs> it's all saved by TJ Davis's voice, because the lyrics are pure trash. Oh, yeah, my god. They make little to no sense, but... Uh, Jason asked, uh, did the repairs resolve the issue? Brother? You know, I, I put it on, the, and so unfortunately, um, it my the laptop had already kind of soft reset everything, but I have it on a USB now, so the next time that happens, I can test it. But again, thank you, thank you so much, Blaze, for your help on me getting that sorted out. Hopefully yeah. it will. Hopefully I won't have to. Luckily, it, after it happened the first few times, I just saved all of the programs I use. On a on a external hard drive, so I was able to get everything back up and running in like a couple hours. But if the USB Still stick works. will work perfectly next time, then that's a big plus. Yeah. Uh, because how many times does that happen to you now? Uh, More than once, and that's a problem. Three or four in the span of like Ooh. two months. So yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully that fixes it at the very least permanently. I mean, yeah. yeah. And that's something for the future. Maybe, yeah, maybe you can set up your own phone for a PC. Yes, that's a, you know maybe at some point something like that. Something to think about, yeah. yeah. Because I was actually looking at it after um, 
the chair was funded, I was like, okay, I haven't actually looked at this whole thing. What is it? Uh, I just knew that people could donate and be very gracious, like you all were, and again, thank you. Uh, but then I actually sat down and looked at whatever the hell Throne was, and it's literally just something for fans to help uh, raise for something if you wanted, like a, a new mic or something. Mm. Uh, just it's similar to bits in a way on Twitch or like subs, uh, except that money's going straight towards some particular product, which is quite a nice idea to be honest. Forty-two. Yeah. So yeah, because I I think I have a Amazon wish list, but I think the throne thing's better. So I might at some point when I get a moment do something like that. Yeah. Sonic uh, R sucks. I can't believe this game was the least allowed. Uh, it's, I think it also uh, tricked people into hopefully being a throne can pull from Amazon. So. Oh, cool. uh, if you you can, I'm guessing that what that means is you can put your Amazon wish list just straight onto Throne and it'll do it. It bugs me so much that they couldn't. You find a <laughs> a synonym meaning exit that starts with R, like retire. Throne means you can avoid taxes. There we go, best. Fuck that's, yeah. I best just I, I just did my taxes yesterday, so that's always a plus. <laughs> I don't envy people who have to do taxes, like manually, because at the very least, mine's already just kind of done. Unless uh, I have to, if I make my own. Money. Oh my God, this! I, I do not understand people who like praise this game. I really don't. I used to before I realized, huh, maybe this isn't good. It's just the music I like. But I think, like I was saying, um, people were tricked into liking it more than it actually should have had because it was 3D Sonic on the Saturn, which is kind of what everybody was after, which is why like Sonic Jam with uh, the Sonic World bit is still so thought of greatly because of how creative that is and how we kind of wish there was a game in a similar fashion. You have a hot take. Who does? Right. Uh, Frank and Mutt. Oh, here we go. Let's have some hot takes. I'd rather rather play Sonic R than Riders. Ooh. I mean, I to me, I, I dislike them both. <laughs> <laughs> I might, so, I might yeah. give the edge to um, Riders. Just because it controls a little bit better than... I was going to say, uh, although the system, like the air system is so weird, but once you get behind that, I think it should be all fine. That, that's, what, that's what a lot of people say. A lot of people say that once you get the hang of it, it looks, it, you know, it, it works, but I've never had it work for me, so I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, it, it takes a lot for me to... It, if you're selling me on a game when you have to say, ah, oh, if you do this, it gets really good. It's like, but I shouldn't have to. It uh, gets really good after you play it for 50 hours. About 50, 15 hours, yeah. It's like, oh, the show gets really good at season five. It's like, <laughs> well, that means I have to watch the first four, which apparently should. Yeah, I, I actually... Never owned it. I never owned a Saturn. Uh, it's one, one of the things on the list to actually collect, but then I remember how much Saturn things are, and I dread to do it. I actually got, and this is gonna like, this is gonna sound super like one percent of me to say, but I got a I got a PlayStation <laughs> One and a Saturn for one Christmas. But this was oh, after damn. the yeah. But this is like the Saturn like bombed in Europe pretty quickly so like it wasn't exactly like a it was the Saturn was just dirt cheap that's why my parents were able to get me here honestly that that makes a lot of sense but I had this this was like the, the I want to say this was like the first game I got for it and I, I would go into the um, the cinema section and I would just re-watch the trailer for the OVA over and over and over again yeah, the OVA, it's something. I was I put it on the background because I it just came up in my suggestions on uh, YouTube and they had like a, a super 4K res or something like that. 
I've seen like, that it doesn't look great, that 4K. Like, you can tell it, it's like, it's they, clearly, <laughs> they clearly haven't done it from a native source, obviously, because, you know, we don't know where that exists. They, they, they clearly just took a previous YouTube rip from, like, up res there. Like, good job, guys. <laughs> yeah, they did say that, because the, I read the description and they said they used AI for it. And, uh, AI is doing bad things and I don't like it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Again, I, hopefully, hopefully Disco Tech can work out a deal with Sega Bravo. Um, but yeah, I looked at, um, I can play for Gospel Train of Love that. Well, welcome to my life. <laughs> uh, if I got a PS1 and I sat at Christmas, I'd get Mega Man X4 for both. So I can play Peak twice at the same time. See, I, I, I had, I had Mega Man X3 for the PlayStation, and I didn't like it because it was so much harder than anything classic related. So I don't care for this game, it's too hard. I don't like X3 purely for the like. It makes a lot of choices that uh, I'm not a, a big fan of. That's why I always just kind of default back to uh, just X1. Touch miles. Go over and touch miles. You'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. Now the camera ain't great here, so I can't. Fuck his tails. Oh, there he is. Well, yay! Done. Easy. Well, uh, touch my house, get in. Ha ha! Touch my house, get in. Bad camera. Well, to be fair, this is like the first one, so like, I give it a bit of slack, but it's yeah. still not, still not great. Five blue points. The fuck is a blue point? In this? Is that the checkpoint? Oh, there's, oh, there's blue ones. Okay. I forgot that. Ah, uh, yeah. It has, it has been a minute since I've gone through Sonic's World. So, uh, I'm guessing you saw uh, that um, Live and Learn is gonna most likely be in Sonic 3? Yeah, and I, I just wanna. I hope. I mean, obviously, I'm glad for that, but people need to stop fucking, like. If, if, you, if, you get, if you get like a snow, not that, but if you get like, like a scoop from that, and like someone like Johnny says, yeah, don't fucking tweet. Like you gotta, that that could go one of two ways. You could either get Johnny in trouble, or you could make it so they don't use the thing. Stop fucking yeah. trying to get online clout and posting that shit. Like yeah, the amount of messages that to him that I saw was just was like, oh, are you doing it? Um, and apparently, Crush Fort is not actually involved. In, um, well, what what, jo what Johnny said anything. was is that um, Paramount have licensed the song, which could mean which could mean that they'll they'll play it, they'll just play the bass version, or they'll remix it into the score. I'm hoping for both, but yeah, like it's that'd be good. Yeah, yeah. but like I can't yeah I can't see them doing a new version because it'd be like you can't improve on perfection now, can you, boys? So like, um, but it's from SA2. So. But it's still a hell of a bang, so I, I still don't know which I prefer, live and, live and learn or open your heart. Oh, for me, I am a, I am a open your heart boy till I, till I die, but I can't, I, even I can't dismiss how fucking awesome live and learn is. Yeah. I will say, when I first heard uh, live and learn, I didn't, it didn't clock for me, even though I knew the, the song was called live and learn, because I'm an idiot child and person i didn't realize that the lyrics were live and learn i thought he was saying remember like remember <laughs> I I like, oh. and then when i realized i was like oh i'm just a fucking remember <laughs> yeah like hang in on the edge of tomorrow songs uh, showing up because they no I don't because it's the, it's it's clear yeah. that the composer junkie XL does not like adapting franchise music for franchise movies so thank God yeah. he keeps doing scores for big franchise work uh, but I think 
Because since since movie one, that's been a thing everyone's been asking for. It's for Sonic yeah. music. And I think because Live and Learn is... Even though, again, even though I prefer um, other songs, I think Live and Learn is, is probably the most well-known and beloved song in, in the franchise. And so I think... And also because it's so tied to S, you know, the fan-favorite SA2. Like, they, there would be wars. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, especially because, especially also because, because they keep cock teasing us in trailers. Trailer yeah, two had had that too. had that amazing Emerald Hill Zone um, like remix, and then Emerald Hill Zone was nowhere to be seen in the movie. I mean, yes, technically, um, you know, both movies have had a version of Green Hill, which is like yes, you know, so that, so that is technically Sonic music, but it's like other tracks exist other than Green Hill Zone. Everyone, you can, you can give us something yeah. else. Please, I beg of you. That, that full song of uh, Green Hill Zone, the first one, was great. But after a while, it's just like, okay, more, please. Um, and then, like you said, the cocktease of Emerald Hill was just so frustrating. Um, I was I was so sure we'd, we'd get Emerald Hill because of, of like how prominent it was. Because, I mean, like, in, in, like, they only put in, if I remember correctly, they only put in Green Hill in the second trailer with the redesign. I want to say the original trailer didn't feature that at all. So, well, to be fair, the the first trailer also had fucking Gangsters Paradise. Like, so, like, I thought that I thought that was such a when that was like revealed, everyone was like, "Nah, there's no way, there's no way that's real." I was like, "Oh, oh, oh okay, yeah, it is it real." Is. What camp do you fall in? Because I was having a, this debate with my uh, manager uh, again. Cause, uh, my brother thinks it too, but do you think that it was uh, all a ploy? Because I fucking don't. Like, to be like, oh, it's actually uh, a, a fake. Oh no, that's yeah. no. I don't. I don't believe that for a second. Because of no, no studio wants to have to waste, spend money they don't want to, have to admit they did something wrong, or purposely get get made fun of by everyone online for months that no I want to say like no, no disrespect to your brother and manager but anyone who thinks it was done on purpose doesn't understand how Hollywood works there was like no yeah. no studio would ever do that yeah my um, uh, manager was saying that he saw it as it was just free marketing it's like mm. I wouldn't necessarily agree, but because uh, more of a negative than anything. Yes, I know. I know some people say there's no, there's no, you know, bad publicity isn't. There's no such thing as bad publicity, but yes, there is. <laughs> yes, there is. Yeah. yeah. Um, for me, like the biggest uh, evidence that obviously it's was always the plan to have that horrible Sonic movie, which they ended up changing. Was the amount of merchandise and stuff they made for us? Like, no, you wouldn't make that all of that stuff and put it for sale there wasn't much yeah. merch but what there was was clearly based on the because i ben has a a sonic, sonic a like sorry. original design costume and he like those I, I and i also want to say that's that's why there isn't much merch for the first one because they you know once everyone hated the design and they changed it you know like that's like toy companies don't like that a similar thing happened with the um with the Simpsons movie, originally, like the main villain had a different design, and if you went to Burger King, there were you could actually get a like toy of the original design, and apparently Burger King were not happy with that. Fuck, that's a lot of core memory because I think I remember that. Mm -hmm. Fuck. I get in that regard, I get why they changed it because he looked like like it, he wasn't much of a villain at all with that first design, so I get that. I will also argue about the uh, Simpsons movie that Lenny was the real one of all. The what? Say that again? I, I, I have I argued with people that uh, Lenny is the one of all in the uh, Simpsons movie. Well, if well, he didn't... Uh, he did. <laughs> you can't blame him for that. That's all Homer's fault. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> they've been friends for years. He knows what Homer's like around donuts. He'll do anything. Yeah, but he didn't know. He didn't know that Homer had a big thing of pig crap that he was going to dump in the river. <laughs> also true, but... He filled up the whole silo in two days? 
<laughs> well, I helped. Well, I helped. <laughs> it's not leaking. It's overflowing. It's overflowing. Uh, my days at work were so dead that me and my manager were just playing the Simpsons to each other. Like today, we were just talking about Mr. Burns. And it's current, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much all me and TJ do, anyway. Well, I, I, I don't know how many times you've said it, but I think it, <laughs> it's the, um, if the internet finds out what memes and references were finished, and that will always be hilarious to me. What a phrase that Yeah, Spider Pigs reinvented a plot for like the first half, for like the first 20 minutes. <laughs> then they just like, okay, bye, pig. Yeah, then. Does the pig just fucking disappear? Yeah, so once I... once they leave the house, he doesn't appear again until the very end. No, Plopper, if you push that, Daddy will die. <laughs> die. Yeah, that's right. One of my favorite jokes from the Simpsons movie. I'm not sure. It's either "Thank you, boob lady," because that's just hilarious. <laughs> Thank you, boob um, lady. Or it's um, Homer just dressing up and giving um, the instructions, like just "Release this town immediately." <laughs> Is it written on a leaf? <laughs> just punches. Uh, that 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 like slight two second delay before he punches the guy always makes me laugh. Simpsons have always been so good with their timing. That, that's one of the reasons why it's one of the most quoted things, I think. One of my, one of my, I think one of my favorite lines in the movie is when Mr. Burns goes, ah, for once the rich white man is in control. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Burns is the subject to a lot of my favorite jokes. Um, mm -hmm. Either, is it about my cube? Or I think is it about my, my cube? My, my favorite is, uh, the one where Homer and Bart are going to get together again, but it's at the mail service, like, Hello, my name is Mr. Burns. Oh, that, that's the one where Homer writes an angry letter to Mr. Burns that that's Bart it. mails. Um, yeah, yeah, and then they try to get it back. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Burns, what's your first name? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I love, I love, like, everyone, everyone quotes that bit. But for me, the, I love the bit afterwards where it cuts to them sitting outside and home with this coach. Great plan, Bart. Great plan, Bart. <laughs> I, I have that um, on a soundboard. Thing no, I I... It as a <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that one kills me. I keep meaning to do a soundboard at one point. I, I'm probably going to look at redoing a uh, soundboard when I get back into streaming. Um, I'm going to start streaming again after I finish my MGS3 review, which I've been severely lacking on this it's been three years since the last one. Uh, three years, I think? I don't know. Something stupid like that. It's because I was changing jobs and moving and doing all sorts of crap. So, life is more important, unfortunately. I'd rather be playing video games. But now I work at a place that is video games. <laughs> Yeah. I did go when I was tinkering around when I helped you out with the uh, setting up the Sonic Jam stuff or oh, the sound. Anyway, uh, I did go into the um, cinema thing and looked at uh, what was it? Sonic's Bad Day, or something, the one where Eggman dresses up as Sonic. Man happens. of the Year. Um, that's the one. Yeah, Sonic's Bad Day. Um, you know what, fuck it, let's, let's go watch them, because I, I hate looking for these stupid things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I love that, but I feel like it cuts off, like, uh, isn't there a part two to it? Nope, part two was never made. That's one thing people have, have been asking Sega for for years. See, my brain must have dreamed up the second half because I remember like there was a resolution to it in my head but when I watched it here after helping you out with it I was like where's part two where's the thing that I remember <laughs> it's one of those weird similar things like I don't know if you've ever had it 
have you ever had like a psychic dream before where you dream something and like a year later the thing happens no all time. the fucking time and every time it happens it freaks me out a hundred percent the one that i remember the clearest um it was it's a doctor who episode where they're in the, a library where the dark is chasing them uh and there's these weird statues and the companion or donna her face shows up on the the statue at the end and it's like a uh, this is the next episode next time and i re dreamt like three or four years prior the the next time for that episode and it happened exactly the way <laughs> i saw it and i was like what the fuck is going on my brain was just like freaked out i love this animation it's so cool <laughs> i love eggman here i wish <laughs> eggman would do more stupid shit like this What? <laughs> Never say that again. <laughs> Did someone throw a brick at him? <laughs> to be continued. Never. Never. Oh no, Sonic's hot now. <laughs> my brother lied to me when I was a kid. I, I first saw Shadow the Hedgehog and I was like, oh, who's this? And my brother was like, oh, it's Sonic's brother. Because uh, obviously he had never played SO2, <laughs> but he was just making it up. But for years, I was just whenever somebody asked me about Sonic, because I was just a the kid in school who liked Sonic above Mario. Um, they were like, oh, tell me about Sonic. I was like, oh, he's got a brother named Shadow. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Looking back, I would just want to be like, no, you're an idiot. Shut up. <laughs> my brother, um, one he told me that there was an episode of Sat AM where uh, Sonic uses a power ring 50 times to become Super Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet you were really frustrated when it never happened. No, I was like, I, even as a kid, I was like, that's bullshit, Adam. No, that, <laughs> that didn't happen. You're a liar. I watched the ever-loving shit out of this, like, over and over again. It's fucking awesome. Like, some of the voice acting is not good. Uh, most of the voice acting is not good. Uh, You're no help! Yeah, that, that's what I was... That's the first thing I think of. But... Yeah, no, I love the idea of, like, Metal Robotnik. And then... Oh, for some reason... I think the reason why I liked this so much is because it reminded me of the plot to Heroes in a similar way, because... Oh, Metal's the bad guy, but it's not obviously Metal Sonic. But it was just a whole ploy. I think it was one of the better tricks from Eggman. when he wasn't glitching out your game. <laughs> yeah, I need I need them to like remake Heroes and have it be not, you know, terrible. Yeah, and there's like a few things that even I would change and this is coming from the guy who thinks uh, Sonic Heroes is the best 3D Sonic game. Don't shoot me. Um, but um, I, I, like it's way too slippery at times. Uh, the power formation can lead to death the moment you do an attack uh combined with i'm not sure what the term is but where you get caught on like the the walls when you mm. run to the side but that's happened since like sa1 and 2 uh, where like if you just so much as touch the side either you get stuck there or it just fucks up your automation yep and i if there was a way to change those things i would be it's yeah. funny because there's a mod for SA2 that stops uh, collision. Yeah, um, Luna, her name is Sarah. She, yeah, she, she's the president's daughter who claims to be in love with Sonic, but throughout the OVA, she actually kisses Knuckles like three times. It's like, who, who are you, who are you in love with, Sarah? Quit oh, dicking on my boy. the weird? There's a weird fucking moment with her. I forgot about that. Um, there's two weird there moments. Like... Eggman. Robotnik daydreams about her and him getting married and then you see her clearly breastfeeding and then there's a moment where no, uh, the tails, well, right? well one there's one the first time Knuckles rescues her from falling, from falling 
Then she kisses him and he turns rock hard and like falls into the ground. <laughs> then there's a moment where there's a big, because they're in like they're in like the South Pole or something, and there's a big thing where like uh, Tails falls down, turns into a snowball, which which knocks over Sarah and Knuckles, and then when the thing like the snowball breaks apart, Tails is like hugging her chest area. And Knuckles goes, Tails, get off! And Tails gets off very sheepishly. And Knuckles goes, I never thought you'd stoop so low. It's so fucking weird. Yeah, stoop weird. so low. It's, it's so like, fucking oh, weird. Oh, I never yeah. thought you'd stoop so low. That is such a weird fucking line. <laughs> also, the Sonic CD opening, I will always love. It's, it's to me, it's, it's a real toss-up between that and the intro to Unleashed. As to what I think, you know, I might, yeah. I think, I think CD still has it. I think if if you wanted to show, if you would, someone was like, in ninety seconds, show me the appeal of this character, CD opened it. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. Although there's two things that you like. Oh my god, you don't show them this. Um, uh, but like, yeah, Sonic CD first, classic stuff. Just so you can see, like this guy is just cool and then uh, the Unleashed opening to be like this is how powerful this guy can be also the production values of the Unleashed opening is beautiful mm -hmm. I like the fucking horrible camera of the fucking loop to loop where it turns up in mid air that's so like that's not how that works well this was meant to be this was meant to be for a ride that's that's and I want to say, unless I'm mistaken, I want to say Eggman has a little thing here. This, like that EG design, was kind of what inspired the things in many adventures. Tyson, oh, really? Tyson really Heston cool. and his team know know the know the uh, deep cuts. Wait for it. He yeah, walks back, walks forward, walks back, strikes a pose, crush, Struck a pose. and that's how Eggman died. Finally, the evil has been defeated. Whatever you say, Ponytail, who am I to say no to a little murder? Strike a pose! <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, hold on. I know exactly what this is gonna be. It's a horrible, like, claymation Sonic, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Uh, what are you? <laughs> Why is Sonic gonna cut? <laughs> King, <laughs> like, I rented this show to Hedgehog as a kid and got the new choice and I know how Eggman dies. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sonic the Hedgehog. I show my my boss is he stopped playing Sonic around like SA one I think uh, so he doesn't doesn't know most of the things about like Shadow and stuff and then I was explaining. Um, how like uh, the live and learn teaser thing for Sonic 2 came out and I started explaining oh are they actually going to shoot this little girl dead uh, and then he they was like better. what are you talking about <laughs> yeah I know right I also feel so sorry for that actress uh, anyway um, but I ended up showing him like describing like, um, Shadow the Hedgehog and how they had all the different endings one of which you can like have Eggman die Kawani chop action <laughs> That's exactly what I said to him. And <laughs> I showed him the cutscene, uh, and he was like, he just cracked up laughing. There was a cut, like multiple customers, but he didn't care. He was laughing <laughs> his ass off. It was hilarious. Um, and well, you guys, well, you guys work in a game store. It's fine to watch game cutscenes when you're working. The thing is, we're at the, it's in the back corner of a fucking sports shop. It makes no sense. So we have a lot of dirty looks from the because it's the main store is uh, sport, sporting goods. So the people who come uh, to buy stuff there, they just look at uh, us fucking nerds looking at Sonic. And I'm like, <laughs> it's like, oh. And then we have to tell them, no, I can't serve you these things. They don't go on my till shop. Um, that's half the job, not gonna lie. Uh, but um, yeah, no, I showed him that, and he after he stopped laughing, he was just like, "I'm glad that's exactly how I imagined it." Um, <laughs> and then I sh uh, sh then I showed him the um, bit with in Shadow the Hedgehog where uh, Knuckles is not a very good counselor. Like, hey, don't go there yet. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> no, that's that's Vectors does that. No, Knuckles. Oh right, yeah. 
But yeah, the, you could be. And then you just stop speaking. The shadow slowly walks off screen. Yeah, because when he, doesn't he say like I'm Shadow Android or I never should have been born, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just like oh, Victor, you could be a real friend here. You found God. <laughs> you should know. This cutscene. Oh, uh, cutscene. This uh, ad is great. I do love this one. Non-stop supersonic action. So I would be freaked the fuck out if I just picked up a game and I had to go through all of this every time. I wanted to play the game. It's absolute torture. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 from Mega Drive. See the correct term. Get that Genesis bullshit out of here. See, I I, I find myself saying. I don't know why I say Genesis uh, sometimes because Mega Drive is also three syllables. It's exactly the same. But for me, I. Funky, funky action! action. <laughs> yeah. The moment I had, sorry, I had to interrupt myself. Everyone, yeah, it's just. Oh. <laughs> I think that is the one oh. thing every, every you know, English speaking kid who. Um, Got had Sonic Jam and watched. I think I think Funky Action has stuck in everybody's mind. Oh, I love that fucking thing. That oh, along with like what was it? Shadow Basketball. The <laughs> Shadow Mega Basketball. CD. Mega CD. I love, I love those uh, crappy McDonald's things. Oh, and this is the ad for Sonic CD. <laughs> I do love the render for Metal Gear. If only the fight was actually like that, it's not a <laughs> mega fucking race. From Mega CD. Ah, this is a claymation model again. <laughs> fucking Five Nights at Freddy's looking ass. <laughs> 100% Sonic 100%. CD stream, uh, maybe, maybe it. one day. <laughs> I love that fucking game. Yeah. Oh, the mix of Sonic cool one day. <laughs> well, he's made of metal, so he should be nice and cool. I think I might win. You know, actually, I, I guess I could just hook up my PS4, but if I, if I get, um, like, Origins on my, uh, PC. Uh, I might, I might do it then. <laughs> Doctor Eggman. Uh, is this triple trouble? The yep. end game. Yeah. Yeah, because in Japan, Sonic and Ka Sonic Chaos was Sonic and Tails, and Triple Trouble was Sonic and Tails too. That's right. And now here's the last, the last commercial Sega ever made. <laughs> ever for Sonic. Goodbye, Sonic. That's why Sonic Drift sucks. See, this looks fun, but then you see the real thing. Oh yeah, the first Sonic Drift was just those four characters, Knuckles, Knack, and Metal were added in Sonic Drift 2. But that's the one, but I want to say, yeah, Sonic Drift 1 only, only came out in Japan. So like, Europe and America got Sonic Drift 2. But the first one never came out. So I was like, oh, okay, sh 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 sure, sure, why not? <laughs> You've just called this <laughs> the first one. You know, okay, so I think we'll uh, we'll watch we'll we'll watch the uh, Sonic CD ending, and then I'm gonna call it a day because I'm about I'm about to pass out <laughs> on this trip. That's fair. Man. <laughs> you, you did say before the stream that you were very tired, yeah. tired and mm -hmm. well, not good for burnout. But yeah, you know, I want to, as as um, one of did earlier, I want to thank ev literally everyone who who donated and shared. Um, you know, I'm so happy we were able to get uh, Meg her chair. And again, this might be the most successful charity yeah. thing I've ever been involved with. Because again, because it was filled before we started. Oh. Um, <laughs> what 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 I'm thinking of doing is I've just for this channel, I think I might do it like two or three times a year just pick a, a kind of you know obviously I me myself can't compete with like fund the charity room so, sorry the charity room as a whole or like Johnny's event so I might pick like a slightly smaller scale of thing like we did with the chair and if we can make it a running gag where it's always funded before the stream starts 
That would be amazing. Otherwise, <laughs> yeah, otherwise, um, you'll force Gareth to stream. And yeah, and knows, trust me, nobody, w- nobody fucking wants that. I'm here against my will, guys. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. So again, um, uh, as, yeah, as, no, as, as, as again, one, yeah. oh, again, it was again, it was absolutely. Absolutely, my my pleasure. Um, you know, yeah. Any, any anything for a good cause where I don't have to do anything is great for me. Yeah, right. Yeah. All you did was spread the word, and clearly that was enough. Yeah. And again, th- thank you. Again. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, what? Just to reiterate, my thanks not only to you but to everybody who donated. Um, I will be just giving the update uh, on Friday when the money goes in, so that way I can. Uh, all the comment on none of the work um, yeah so that way everybody can see and then when Meg actually gets the chair uh, we'll do a video of her just zipping around and then hopefully crashing into something I mean what um, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah real. but yeah thank you again to everybody we can't appreciate it enough and yeah thank you um, thank you, Gareth. Yeah, again, dude, my, my problem. So, everyone, uh, thank you. I will probably be back streaming Thursday, and I might do some more SA1 yet. Not 100% sure, but we'll see. But um, in the meantime, 